Because it's been cold, you know, if you've been outside. Let's get out to Chief Meteorologist Scott Paget. Scott, I'm just begging for a little bit of break in the cold. Yeah, Brooke, that blanket that's on your couch there, grab that, wrap it around yourself because we are dealing with another cold night on the way. Happy New Year to you as well. Today, our first day of the new year at DFW, the high temperature below average. 40 degrees is the best we could do today. Average for the beginning of January, about 56 degrees. We'll get closer towards that this weekend as we see the cloud cover clear out and we see more sunshine. But New Year's Eve snowfall, if you're just now joining us, we did see less than an inch in our west counties, even through Parker County, west sides of Tarrant County, down to Johnson County, then further out to the west in Palo Pinto County, one to three inches, and over near Breckenridge, about three to five inches. Nothing really falling through all of the Metroplex, but we did see the drizzle off and on today, and some light rain still continues tonight. Cloud cover is breaking up out to the west, and that will be the trend through the remainder of the night and through your Saturday. The wide view shows that same area of low pressure that moved over North Texas is now making its way through the Ohio Valley, bringing snow up there and a lot of rain to the eastern seaboard. So we're going to be drying out going in it to tomorrow. 39 is our current temperature at DFW with some light rain around. Northwest winds at 14, making it feel like below the freezing mark, feeling like 31 degrees. So you definitely need to bundle up all of us in the upper 30s to the low 40s with all of our reporting stations right now across North Texas. So the next six hours, we're going to be holding in the upper 30s to about 37 degrees by the time we get to near midnight. But then going into tomorrow morning, you notice across the Metroplex, we'll start to see those temperatures drop back down to near the freezing mark or below. Cold start to your Saturday morning, but I do expect to see the clouds decreasing through the day to give us more sunshine. By later in the day, we still have a wind chill in the morning, but then by the afternoon hours, up to near about 49 to near 50 degrees. You would think with some of the rain that we had around the atmosphere, we get washed out. But when we have heavy rain and stronger winds, we can see the pollen count remain high, and it remains high today, tomorrow, Sunday through Tuesday. You can hear it in my voice, so if you suffer from allergies, it's not going to be a good four days ahead. As you take a look at the forecast of going into Sunday across the region near the 70 degree mark down to the south, we'll see lots of sunshine going into Monday, but then we have another cold front on the way. This comes on Tuesday into Wednesday, so as that approaches, it will slide through. It will cool us back down to bring a little bit of rain back into the forecast for us. You can see the seven day forecast shows 64 Tuesday, small cool down Wednesday with rain chances at 30%. And then by next Friday, very close to average, we'll see partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies and really comfortable temperatures ahead.